Thank you for watching US Classic Muscle Cars. Please enjoy this next video. Like us, share, subscribe to us on Facebook and social media. Hi, I'm here with Dave. And Dave, you brought... A 1938 Century Convertible Coupe. Last year of the Rumble Seat. 640 some cars made for U.S. consumption. And I think 50 went overseas. Okay. And uh, it was the first car. Uh, it's got a Century name because it was the first car to go 100 miles an hour. In fact, it was a hot rod day, a hot rod in its day. So, but, uh, and when I got it, it was a total basket case. So, uh, it, later I can show you some pictures of that. I and, would like to see those. You've done a complete restoration. I did then. all of it. The only thing I did not do, of course, is the leather interior and the uh, convertible top. Okay. And uh, of course, a professional fella uh, uh, did the uh, revulcanizing of the running boards and stuff. So, but. Uh, Everything else, uh, just a labor of love, 1,820 hours. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> and my wife thought I was nuts when I brought it home. So. Okay. Um, so, it had a rumble seat. Yes. And um, could you sure, I can close, close this sure, so absolutely. we can see what it looks like without? Okay. And, and I can close the trunk. stuff all over the car it's but from the tree yep <laughs> at least we got a little shade so, but, so uh, now when you did the restoration when did you start it oh my god i didn't i didn't keep track of the date i owned this car for a long time but i only kept track of the hours i i put into it and that is actual hours of pounding and welding and painting and everything else not watching paint dry i'm talking working hours okay and i wanted to keep track with 1820 hours uh, and uh, it was over quite a few, quite a few years because I had other things to do. And uh, but I got a little hobby garage where I uh, could stop when I got tired <laughs> and leave it just the way it is and pick up the next time from from where I left off. You know. So. Can you show me the interior, sure please? Can. Sure can. If, could I sit in it? Absolutely. If that's Absolutely. okay. You know, it's fascinating. The seats, it's actually really comfortable. It is, it is. You know, These for something are... this old, it's like comfortable. When I had the uh, interior done, the upholstery guy said, uh, oh yeah, no problem, I'll pull that out. I said, I don't know if you know what you're getting into. There is steel, I mean, iron, angle iron, wood, everything in this seat. It's heavy, it is really heavy. And it does slide, but you know, it'll, it'll adjust a little, but not very much. You know? And all the chrome inside. There's a lot of chrome, There's, it's amazing. And everything in this car is done the way it came from the factory. Really wow. And uh, my first showing at the Buick Nationals last year, uh, in Brookfield, Wisconsin, uh, I got uh, a senior gold award, 399 out of 400. Wow. The That's almost perfect. Almost. Well, I didn't have the right battery caps on. That's where I lost. A That's point. the only <laughs> thing. The battery caps are. So, yeah. how many trophies have you taken? Well, I haven't. You know, I've only. I don't take it to lo that many local shows. I mean, it sounds kind of, kind of stuffy. That's all right. It sounds kind of stuffy by not, you know, picking my big, big shows. But, but the whole idea is that I wanted to get a judge uh, at the AACA, the Buick Nationals, and then when I was invited uh, to go down to Boca Raton, Florida, with this uh, last February, I drove this thing, uh, trailered it down there for that, and uh, that was more of a. It's not the nicest. As, as this concourse. They came in and did a legitimate judging on this, which I thought was fantastic. Whether it's going to win anything or not, I don't know, but, but you know, it, it really is, uh, they Can did a beautiful Can you tell me job. about the engine? Oh, that's the big straight eight. That, that engine is, uh, I think it's 322 cubes, uh, 191 horse, I think. I'm not sure now. You got, I've, got, I've got another car that I'm getting confused with because I've got another Buick that is waiting for me to attack. Okay. And, uh, but uh, this was the, uh, uh, the body itself. They made about 1,250, I believe, specials. But with the Century had the bigger engine, so from the, from the windshield forward, the cowl forward, 
it's it's larger because of the, the, to handle the larger engine. And you did keep with the big white wall tires. Oh, absolutely. Everything, everything. Everything is the way this car should have been if you rolled off the out showroom. Out of the factory. Out of the right. factory. Absolutely. Absolutely. The color codes, the data plates, everything is uh, down to where it's supposed to be. You know, the way they wanted it. So. And how does the car drive? Well, it's uh, got a lot of power. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'd ever go 100 miles an hour with it like they say they can, but okay. but, and, but it stops well because it's got juice brakes and everything, but uh, uh, it, it, it handles real nice. And for a heavy car, once you're moving, you can almost fingertip steer with this. It's oh. really, it does not have power steering, obviously, but, but like when I'm backing in here, you got to fight with the wheel a little bit. That's why the wheels are so big, so you can turn them, you know, get more leverage with it. But, uh, but other than that, it was, uh, it was really... Uh, it's it's a nice sweet riding car okay this is what i started with i was uh buried in a garage well buried alongside a garage for about 20 years uh he kept it outside with where all the raccoons and, and uh, squirrels and rabbits and cats and everything else got into it you can look at all the debris i had i had to take it outside when i brought it home i used uh, my power washer and let it sit outside for a week and a half before the smell went away <laughs> and uh it's pretty much uh, the bottom half of the doors were gone and all this other other stuff. Now here's where I started making some progress, uh, trying to get the body together and everything. And uh, uh, as you can see, the welding that they did was terrible because the car wasn't an accident at one time. And they, uh, when they put the car back, they didn't square it up. The doors didn't line up or anything. So I had to do all that all over again. And I learned as I, as I progressed. I mean, I just uh, it was something that uh, I've never done before. But right. I was determined. I, I like to work with my hands and stuff, and and uh, I was in no rush, so that's how it turned out. And uh, you know, I was very happy to see the results after I got done, and especially when I showed it at the Buick Show. So that was my goal. That and the uh, Antique Automobile <laughs> Club. And there you can see where the engine was rebuilt and working on that stuff. And I spent and, a couple hours in the garage at least. Right? Oh yeah, like I say, 1,820 hours I have in this thing. Wow. So. Here's where it's starting to look like a car. And uh, I had people look at that and say, you'll never get it done. Well, it took a long time, but that's where it was getting the top put on. And uh, then eventually, oh, oh, there we go. Now we're, not, but it looks yellow in here, which is the color, I don't know why. But it's just the lighting the of the it was, photography. Yeah, yeah so, and uh, I think there were some other things, I don't know where else, but that's, this is, that's Thank you much, so very much for sharing. Much what I dealt with, you know, so. But I have not driven it a lot because I want one more show, and that's in Auburn next May for the Grand National Awards, and I'm hoping. So we'll see what happens with that. We'll I think you have a good chance at that. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Definitely think you have a good chance. Thank you Thank so you very, very much. much for sharing it. Oh, my pleasure. It's a beautiful right. car. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. I appreciate it. There you go. This We'd like to show your car next, so please leave us a comment, subscribe, and like us.